whether you're hanging a wreath or a full on Christmas light display, a word of warning this morning, doctors are already starting to see falls from ladders and some of those injuries can be pretty nasty. Joining us is Dr. Barbara Bergen, an orthopedic surgeon with Texas Orthopedics to tell us more. Good morning. Hi, it's good to be here and good to talk about this important subject. Yeah, we were excited about this just because, you know, a lot of people are hanging Christmas lights, doing it themselves, which may not be the best or safest thing. Right, and I think we often think that that these injuries are kind of funny because on television and movies, it's always portrayed as some goofy yes. uh, situation. But like these, Clark Griswold. Exactly. These injuries can be devastating. You know, in my office, I'm already starting to see patients with ladder injuries. and uh, But in the office, we'll often see sprains and wrist fractures, mm -hmm. ankle, minor ankle fractures. But in the emergency room, death. Oh, my goodness. Neck injuries and devastating injuries to the upper and lower extremities, things that will change your life forever. So what is really the root of the problem? People, they don't have the proper equipment or they don't know what they're doing. They think they know what they're doing. All of the above. People are putting up ladders on unstable ground. They're getting out there in flip flops. Um, they are making reaches that they shouldn't make. They're like, oh, I just got to get to that one more spot mm -hmm. and rather than moving the ladder. So, but, you know, putting ladders up on grass and on dirt, they often will start to slide. You oh, are going okay. down. There's no grabbing onto gutters like you see in the movies. Yeah. Gutters won't hold a human <laughs> body up. And uh, so we really want to be very cautious about getting out on a ladder. Definitely. And those, I mean, just kind of really knowing what you're doing and uh, what are some other ways to have avoid Have a good injuries. ladder, right? Have a good stable ladder. I don't like the single ladders that are leaning up against houses. Those oh, are yeah. gonna fall. Um, also, uh, just make sure your ladder's in good condition. Make sure you have all your equipment that you're not having to reach for things. And honestly, try not to put things up high. Uh, try to use things that, you know, uh, are on the ground, things mm -hmm. that you can use a hook to put them up with. Okay. Um, and save energy. Don't use things that you hang up on your house. Put poinsettias and wreaths on your front porch and turn the porch lights on and don't get up on a ladder. And maybe another suggestion for those that is able to do so, maybe hiring an expert well, to do it <laughs> instead of thinking you can do it all and end up in the ER. They get hurt too. About 900 deaths a year, workers' comp injuries and uh, like 100,000 injuries um, for people that are actually, these are documented workers' mm -hmm. comp injuries. So, you know, everybody gets hurt on a ladder. Man. Don't do it. And you were saying, too, it's not just with Christmas coming up, but you were seeing injuries back in October for right. Halloween. Halloween. Now everybody's going crazy <sighs> over with lights at Halloween, and we're seeing ladder injuries then as well. These wow. can really be devastating injuries, and I caution everyone to be careful. Think yeah, if twice. You, if you guys take a look at your screen right now, there are some ways to avoid these injuries, and I'm shocked that there's, I mean, you were saying there are so, so many already. Right. They're, they're already showing up. We'll be seeing these all the way through the holidays, and then afterwards when people go to take everything down. Got it. Okay, if people want to know more information or for other tips, where can they go? Well, they can go to the Texas Orthopedics website. We actually have a ladder safety okay. tip uh, blog on that, and the uh, America, American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons also has a ladder safety program. All right. Well, doctor, thank you for being here this morning, and I hope after people watch this, we'll have less injuries. We'll see less injuries. Right. Thank you. You're welcome.